folks want to go for a big shocker ending. There's either an amazing hook to the story or some um, unbelievable revelation that's, you know, going to get your audience to <gasps> suddenly gasp. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, that's really nice to be able to do and to have that, you know, last little twist in your story. Another thing to consider is to get much more of a visceral, physical uh, twist. And this is where it helps for you to have an accomplice. If you have an accomplice, they can be lying in wait the whole time of the story, which is another reason why you don't want to take too long. You're gonna, it's going to be really difficult to get an accomplice to like lay and wait for half an hour or more. Although you may be able to find them. Have the accomplice lie in wait throughout the whole story. They're placed there from the beginning. Nobody knows they're there except for you. And you and the accomplice have gone over at what point they are going to jump out of the shadows, maybe even dressed up, having a mask or a weapon or something, you know, and, you know, with a quick little, Ugh! or maybe they're just going to jump out. Uh, what will this do? It will probably scare the socks off 50% of people openly and will probably scare at least another one quarter of them that'll try to hide their reaction and say, well, that wasn't really that scary. Yeah, it actually is. It's jarring. It's sudden. It's unexpected. If you have a story which also involves some type of villain or monster, have your accomplice dress up like them, suddenly the story now has somebody there in the flesh and it freaks people out big time.